Right, so hey everyone and welcome back to another budget photography video. Now in this video, just like the last one, I want to talk about the bane of my life. That is tripods. I hate tripods. Now this one, I have been holding off on a review because I wanted to use it for a very, very, very long time. And actually this became, after a little while, this became my main tripod for photo and video. But because I started to upgrade my camera gear, I, well, I needed something a bit stronger, which you saw in the last video. Now, this is a National Geographic's tripod, which you probably think, yeah, it will be a good tripod because of what National Geographic's does. Now, you obviously get the tripod itself. You also get a quick release plate and you get a nice little bag that says, National Geographics on it, which then makes you feel like a National Geographics photographer. But you're not, so remember that. Now, let's get rid of this crappy little bag. It's not bad, but it's still some crap. And get onto the tripod. Now, because this is obviously a photo tripod, it has crappy features. Um, we've got this short little stubby arm for vertical and swivel movements um, and, it and it just kind of twists but still moves and you've got some locks for the swivel but <laughs> it's just not very good and then the bottom legs that come out they're very very thin and more of a pointer than an actual tripod leg and the thing is what makes it worse is there's not one there's not two but there are three of them and this is what makes it really bad i mean that one isn't even extending right and neither is that one now the thing is these are meant to have feet on now i lost them feet that came with the tripod and they've come off in the course of me well me using said tripod so yeah now i will admit it is quite light because it is made of basically plastic now i do like the lightness of this tripod because it can just fit onto the back of your camera bag you can put the little tiny arm down not that you really need to lock that into place and that's quite compact so i suppose if you're a vlogger then you could buy one of these. You can pick one of these up from places like Amazon and Argos here in the UK for about £20. And for £20, if you need an emergency tripod, yeah, buy one, but try your best to avoid it. Unless you're using something like this little camera, if you're using anything other than this on here, it's just not gonna work. Especially if you try and tilt the head further back like I have right now here, it's just gonna fall over. Or if you, even if you have it level like that, it's just not gonna work neither. Especially if you've got something like what I've got. Now what I've got, I will admit, is a heavy setup. Right now I have the 5D Mark II with a 24 to 105 f4 so yes that is a very heavy camera in comparison to this but i also had this when i had my 500d and even then it was a piece of crap now the 500d isn't a particularly heavy dslr going from the 500d to the 5d mark ii was actually quite a big weight investment because when it's full frame it's aluminium and metal and yeah so going from a fully plastic camera to this heavy beast it was quite a big thing for me anyway so if you are going to be using a tripod please try your best to avoid this one you can get quite cheap good ones on Amazon as it is that actually look a lot better. Now, the worst feature for me is, well, the head, because not only is it basically plastic, but you can't interchange it because this is all one big solid uh, piece of metal and plastic, and there is no way to change the head out. Now, I've got a spare head for a tripod in my gear cupboard, but the, the head can't, it won't unscrew. It will spin around, 
because that's what it's obviously designed to do but it won't come off the only thing that comes off is the crappy little quick release plate which i have inevitably broken which means when i do retire this in a little while i might even actually use it for a light stand i get to keep that little screw now these oh god i lose so many of these it's ridiculous so having an extra one around the house it's pretty good now you can pick these things up for about five pounds to the dozen i think i saw some for like yeah five pounds but paying 20 pounds for one isn't really worth it this tripod is only really good for a light stand and that's what i'm going to be using it for now again as i said if you are going to be using one of these little tiny small cameras then it doesn't really matter um i wouldn't say for you to extend the bottom legs out very much i'd say use the second and first set of legs they seem to be the strongest because well they're bigger uh, there's more metal there there's more surface area and yeah but i really would not advise buying this tripod and another thing that actually i've just found that really does actually really bug me is again it's with the head conveniently i'm going to bring the head up so let's lock that into place so we've got this little lock here and you're probably wondering well alex what's that that's for that that's so that you can have your camera on the plate and have it vertical now that might be good for someone that's doing TikTok or whatever but personally i won't be using it and if i was to use that feature then i'd want it to go that way not that way because i then lose controls yeah i have I, it's not as easy for me to control the camera unless i'm using a wireless function which on this one again i'm not going to be using because it doesn't have wireless functions it's a 10 20 year old well it's not 20 it's about 15 years old camera and it's just not even i mean i could i can probably yeah i could break that um i'm pretty sure my toddler could break that too so in summary don't buy this tripod spend a little bit more and get a decent tripod that will last you 10 15 20 and in some cases 30 years but just don't buy this one unless you're an idiot which apparently i am because i brought one anyway guys thanks for joining me in this video and i'll see you in the next one